If you think you can, you are right. If you think you cannot, you are right. Let me take it further. If you think the world is against you, you are right. If you think the world is working for your good, you are right. If you think there is an enemy that is on your matter, on your case, to pull you down, you are right. If you think that God is using everyone, the enemies, the friends, to make things work together for you and everybody is working to aid your destiny, you are also right. One thing that is common to every man and that is constant in life is the word change. Change is the only thing that no one can escape from growing as a baby, from being a baby to becoming an adult. It's all about change. Everything you would ever become in life will be because you have chosen to change. I pray for you today that as we share the word of God together, the changes that need to begin to take place on your inside to manifest on your outside. May God begin it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Father, we thank you for the power in your word. The simplicity of your word is able to transform our lives. That everyone watching right now, my brother and my sister, listening, will have an encounter with your transformative word. And our lives, your life, my life, will never remain the same again. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thank you for connecting with us right now on this platform. Please, wherever you are, we want you to like this video and share it around with your friends and family. If this is your first time joining us, you are welcome. Please subscribe to this channel and become a part of this community. God bless you real good as you do so. In Jesus' name. Amen. We commence a topic change your mind change your life last week part one and today by the grace of god we are looking at the part two using the story of jesus with lazarus martha and mary john chapter 11 from verse 39 how do you sustain a mentality or a mindset that brings you into a realm of possibility moving from the spiritual to the physical Moving from what is unseen to what is seen. Moving from the intangible to the tangible. How can you have an experiential manifestation of the mindset of possibility? And that is what we are discussing today. We see in John 11, 39. 39 says, Jesus said, Take ye away the stone. Martha, the sister of him that was dead, saith unto him, Lord, by this time he stinketh, for he had been dead four days. Jesus saith unto her, Have you forgotten, said I not unto thee, that if thou wouldest believe, thou shouldest see the glory of God? Your belief will command your ability to see to see something glorious, something beautiful, something unique, something great. Hallelujah. Verse 41. Then they took away the stone from the place where the bed was laid, and Jesus lifted up his eyes and said, Father, I thank thee that thou hast heard me. Hallelujah. So God is expertly saying to someone, I have answered your prayers over 2,000 years ago when I said on the cross, it is finished. Hallelujah. God has heard and answered you. Verse 42 now says, And I knew that thou hearest me always, but because of the people which stand by, I said it, that they may believe that thou hast sent me. Verse 43. And when he thus had spoken, Hallelujah. He cried with a loud voice, Lazarus, come forth with a loud voice. Verse 44 and the last, and he that was dead came forth, bound hand and foot with grave clothes, and his face was bound about with a napkin. Jesus saith unto them, one more time, lose him and let him go. Hallelujah. So the resurrection and the life eventually manifested physically. He said, I am the resurrection. But we see a process of the resurrection nature and identity of Jesus 
finding expression in the dead Lazarus. So we're going to see how that relates to you and to me in terms of the change of our mind, of our belief system to translate into our manifesting possibilities in life. You want to get a new job, you want to start a new business. You want to come out of sickness, you want to come out of disease, you want to overcome disease, live above them, you want to connect with people and receive favor from them, you want to knock a door and the door opens unto you, you want to succeed in a project you lay your hands upon, you want to find favor with God and with men. It begins from your state of mind. Remember the Bible says in Proverbs chapter 23 verse 7, as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. So your mindset directs the affairs of your life. We see another text in Romans. Romans chapter 12 verse 1 to verse 2. It says, I beseech you therefore my brethren by the mercies of God that you present your bodies a living sacrifice unto God wholly acceptable, which is your reasonable service. And then he says, And be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may know and prove that which is good, acceptable, and the perfect will of God for your life. Be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. So how do we put all these scriptures together? Like we said earlier, mindset is a state of mind, is a mental attitude that determines how you respond to situations and how you see situations, how you interpret situations happening to you. Somebody said, if you think you can, you are right. If you think you cannot, you are right. Let me take it further. If you think the world is against you, you are right. If you think the world is working for your good, you are right. If you think there is an enemy that is on your matter, on your case, to pull you down, you are right. If you think that God is using everyone, the enemies, the friends, to make things work together for you and everybody is working to aid your destiny, you are also right. If you think you can achieve that feat, that great height, you can achieve that new thing that you have set out to do, if you think you can achieve it, you are right. If you think it's an impossibility and nobody has done it before, therefore, it's, you, it's something you cannot do also, particularly in your family line. If you think that is the case, you are also right. So it's all about your mindset, particularly when we now expose our minds to the word of God to believe what it says. We are unstoppable. Our power in the word of God that changes our minds makes everything possible. Glory be to Jesus. So in that story, as we discuss translating our mindset, what we believe of what God can do and what he can do through us, as we translate it into the physical realm, first and foremost, I want to bring your attention to the stone. When Jesus approached the tomb of Lazarus, the Bible says he said to them, Roll away the stone. Lazarus had not come out yet. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. I am going to bring forth Lazarus. I am going to make him come alive. So the process began when Jesus commanded the people that rolled the stone to seal Lazarus in the tomb to roll the stone away. So what do we learn from that? If you look at scriptures in Mark chapter 11, Mark chapter 11, if you read from verse 23, Mark 11, 2, 3, the Bible says, For verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, this stone, be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he said shall come to pass. He shall have whatsoever he said. That was the principle Jesus applied when he got to the tomb of Lazarus. He said to them, roll away the stone. 
Jesus spoke to the stone. He spoke to the people, rather, that rolled the stone there and told them to roll away the stone. Can you also speak right now, release a word from your mouth and say, every stone rolled by men, rolled by life, rolled by systems, rolled by the economy, rolled by whatever it is, be rolled away now in the name of Jesus. Amen. How is this relevant to us? Number one, the stone was rolled there by man. And Jesus also commanded man to roll the stone away. So you must understand that whatever looks like an embargo and impossibility as a sort of a mindset is a stronghold that possibly men had handed you over to. Men have locked you in. So it is a stone that men roll there and men also have to roll it away. Number two is the fact that it is conformity to man's ways. A stone, may, a stone is hard in its, in its form, in its nature. It's hard, it's fixed, it's conformity. It is cast in stone. This is how things used to be. This is how things have to be. This is how things must be. It is a mindset that will limit you, limit me from advancing in life when we are in the position of this is how it has been done and it must continue this way. Remember we started from saying change is the only constant thing and change is the only thing common to all men. So we have to embrace change, beloved. So that stone is conformity to men's ways. Men's way, the Bible says there is a way that seems right to men, but the end is unapproved by God and is the way of destruction. So don't be set in going in man's ways. When you go with the crowd, you'll get lost in the multitude. When you go, go with the crowd, you get lost in the multitude. For broad is the way that leads nowhere but to destruction. Find your own path. If there is no path, create one. It's your destiny. It's my destiny. Unique and different to fulfill a higher purpose in life. Oh, it's a path no one has walked before. It's a path God has created and curated for you and you alone. Don't allow man's way. The way men have done things and lived before, limit you and stop you from advancing into your destiny. Amen and amen. The stone also could mean seeing and doing things like it has been done before. So you must challenge what has been done before based on how people have thought about how it can be done. A lot of things now have changed in our world from communication to transportation. Why? Because people questioned what people had believed over the years to be true. The right brothers challenged the fact that metal cannot fly in the air. The fact that human beings don't have wings so they can't be in the air. They challenged it and today we have the aircraft we can fly. Graham Campbell also challenged the fact that distance may not, should not be an obstruction to conversation. I may not see you physically yet. I should be able to communicate with you. And then the process of the phone was bettered. You must learn to see things with the eyes of the spirit creating or bringing forth what was not originally in existence. So question what you are seeing question what you are doing and find how well and better it can be done particularly when it is solving an existing problem hallelujah the stone that was rolled away also represents a system that you feel trapped in a system that men have built over the years that you find yourself in it could be an organization it could be a group, it could be a society, it could be a community. You feel limited there, you feel trapped there. When you have that feeling, 
something inside you is saying this place is too small for you you are bigger than this structure so you need to rise beyond it in your thinking and then you create a path out of the limitation of the system glory be to jesus hallelujah so what next did jesus do like we said he spoke to them to roll the stone away and then the bible says he shouted lazarus come forth all right so jesus spoke to the dead man he spoke to the problem to come back to life and how did he do it you must learn beloved to undo what has been done by thinking and acting differently to undo what has been done by thinking and acting differently how do you do that you must speak you must declare you must pronounce with your mouth to address the situation and jesus did two things in doing that first and foremost he gave attention to god and took his attention away from the tomb first and foremost he paid attention to god and took away his attention from the dead lazarus the bible says he lifted up his hands and he gave thanks to god in verse 41 of john 11 the bible says he says father i thank thee that thou hast heard me so the place of thanksgiving is where the miracle begins to happen is when physical circumstances begin to change for you i thank you why because you have heard me not you will hear me not you can hear me not you may hear me but what you have you have heard me so it's a good place to always start when you want to bring the mindset of possibility to bear on your situation give thanks to god first thessalonians 5 18 first thessalonians 5 18 in everything give thanks for this is the will of god in christ jesus concerning you and then secondly jesus used the authority of his mouth to speak and to cause an action the word he spoke cause an action to take place he said lazarus come forth lazarus came forth and he said to them lose him and let him go so when he spoke action followed beloved you have heard he's saying that put your money where your mouth is we can rather say it this way too put your action where your mouth is if you are going to see miracles in your life if things are going to change and begin to work for your good as you think about them as you speak about them then you must act about them act concerning them put your action where your words are there are lots of people today who say a lot of things they want to do they are planning to do they intend to do but they never act in line with what they intend to do somebody said a thousand intentions are not as powerful as one action so whenever you have an intention and you say out of what you want god to do in your life of what you want god to change in your life in your circumstance either in your business in your marriage in your family you must act in line with what you think what you believe and what you say and that is the word god is bringing to us expressly today remember as we said before your words now determine what you think about what you say eventually gives direction to your actions your actions eventually form your habit and then your habit form your character and your character determine your destiny so beloved the stone can be rolled away by men because it's not fixed men rolled it there they can roll it away with your mindset and with your words the stones can be rolled away the systems can be changed you can live above it by the mindset of possibility and you must always learn to give thanks to god in every situation and act in accordance with your thought and with your actions and the almighty god will ensure that you are never stranded in life in whatever situation in jesus mighty name amen